Kelly Clement here for Metastock. In this video, we're going to continue talking about the chart and some of the things that we can do with it. In the previous video, we covered the x-axis down here and some of the settings that down here. Now, let's say you just want to change some of the things in the chart, like you want a different charting style or you want additional indicators. Let's talk about how to do that on the chart. By default, Metastock loads with candlesticks and those candlesticks are filled. Let's say you want something different than that. Well, what I can do is I can go ahead and just double click on anything typically in Metastock to change its customization. That's the easiest way in Metastock. So when I load this, uh, the first thing that comes up is obviously we, we have candlesticks here. So that's what's going to load by default. These are all the colors that we have set, uh, how we have the up down calculated, how we have the fill mode calculated. So if you don't like filled, you can change that to unfilled candles. So uh, those are some of the settings. Now, if you want to change your, your charting style, you can change it to bars. That'll change it to bars. Heikinashi, that will change it to Heikinashi. So there's all these different charting styles. Line's a little different. If you choose line, there's a lot of different subtexts under line that you can choose from. So if I, this would actually fill the lines and give you a different view. So there's a lot of different ways that you can set up your charts. Let's just say that I wanted to go with Heikinashi for right now. My colors are fine uh, for right now. We'll go ahead and click apply and we will close that. Okay, so that's, uh, I've set up my chart there. Now let's say I would like some indicators on my chart. When I do that, uh, I can go ahead and select in here and I can choose an indicator. So let's say, for example, I wanted MACD. So if I choose MACD and I just kind of bring it over and I drag and drop, you'll see the chart turns purple. That means I'm going to calculate on that. If I point it down here to volume or wherever, it will plot based off of what I'm selecting. So let's do the chart. I can go ahead and let go there. It'll give me the parameters. I can go ahead and click OK and then it will go ahead and plot in whatever it needs to, its own window or over the chart. Now the built-in Metastock indicators will do that automatically. Some of the custom ones, you'll have to choose where you want to plot it, but for most of the standard indicators, it'll automatically plot that way for you. So that's some quick customization there, and let's just do an indicator that goes over the chart. Let's do moving average. I'll just drag and drop it here. Uh, let's go ahead and do a 25. We'll do a simple, and let's just change the color and the thickness here just to show you. So we'll do a color, blue, and let's make the line a little thicker. So we'll go ahead and click OK, and then there is my moving average, okay? So those are some quick, easy ways to plot on indicators and manipulate what your chart, chart looks like. Again, now if you wanted to change the color, go to themes, and I can change it to bright white there, and that will change the color for you as well. So a quick video on how to plot indicators, how to change your charting style, and do a little bit of chart manipulation. Keep watching. In the next video, we're going to be talking about trend lines and how to actually plot trend lines.